a tutorial on data validation and the if statement and how they can work together. Let's say you have a small fruit storage business and it's called ABC Fruit Storage. We'd like to calculate the storage fees for the high season and the low season. In the fruit storage business, we only have two seasons, high and low. The numbers associated with the high season is, and the numbers associated with the low season is. Knowing this, we can calculate our storage fees. The storage fees is calculated with a simple formula. Storage fees equals kilos, the amount of food that we have on hand, times the seasonal rate, high or low. Here we have the fruits in kilos, and we'll calculate the storage fees using the if statement. Okay, equals if, open parentheses, the logical test being the season. equals, in quotes, high, and close the quotes, okay. comma space. Value if true. If the season is high, we will use this rate. So open parentheses, okay, storage fees equals kilos times the seasonal rate. So plus kilos, the amount of weight in kilos is times the seasonal rate. Seasonal rate for high is 0 0.0006. Close the parentheses. Common space. Open parentheses. Value if false. If the season is low, so we use kilos times the seasonal rate. So the amount of kilos is times 0 0.0002. Close the parentheses. Now, if you notice, we have parentheses closed for the high season and parentheses closed for the low season. But we have to close the, the entire if statement, so we can do that by another parentheses and enter. So the storage fees for the high season is $3.41. Let's check the storage rates for the low season. Let's change this to low. And click out, and the number should change to a dollar fourteen. So let's make this easier using data validations. Let's make it easier for our, the users. So let's click in the low and the rivet, and we'll use data validation. Data validation is this right here, also known as the drop-down box, and I'll, we will create that. So in the season, click in the season. Go to data, data validation, and the data validation box pops up. Allow, go to list, and click in source. Again, we only have two seasons, high and low, so grab both of them. And if you notice that it populates in the source text box, click OK. And we have a drop down box. We'll grab the fill handle in the lower right hand corner and pull down for the three fruits. Let's check it out. High and low and we'll put high. And if you notice that the number changes for the high and the low season. Okay, let's do a review. So let's go back to the formula and I'll zoom in. Equals if the logical test being the season equals, in quotes, high in the quotes. If the season is high, value of true, if the season is high, open parentheses. In the, the, the formula that we use is storage fees equals kilos times the seasonal rate. So the kilos of blueberries is right here. Times the high, the rate for the high is 0 0.0006. Close the parentheses, comma space. Open parentheses for the low season. Again, we use the kilos for blueberries 
times 0 0.0002, the rate for the low season, close parentheses. And we have the low season closed and the high season closed in parentheses, but we have to close the entire if statement, and we can do that with uh, another parentheses. And enter. And I'll change it to from low to high, and the number will change. Okay, let's do a review on the cranberries. So equals if, open parentheses, the logical, logical test being the season, equals, in quotes, high, close the quotes, comma, open parentheses, the amount of weight in kilos times the seasonal rate of for high is 0 0.000. Six close parentheses, comma space, open parentheses, the kilos for cranberries times the seasonal rate for low season. Oops, and two and close. And we have to close the entire if statement and enter. And let's check for the low. Okay, I'll zoom out. And we will calculate our, our entire storage fees for the three fruits. So equals sum, open parentheses, and grab the, all three of them, and enter. And I'll center this. Go to the Home tab, and center. And I'll zoom in. And if I change this to high, the total changes, and if I change the amount of weight, let's say I've got a new shipment of uh, apples in, and the numbers change. So, a tutorial using data validation and if statement and how they can work together.